All right, guys, what is up? We're back. <laughs> Mammoth. Uh, pretty excited on this one. Going Christmas tree hunting. We do it a little different than everyone else. We go cut our own tree deep in the back country. So got our snowmobiles loaded up. My dad's got his Jeep. And we're gonna go trailer. It's about an hour and a half to where you can cut the snowmobile, uh, I mean cut the Christmas trees. And then we my dad hops in his Jeep with tracks. I hop on the snowmobiles and we go out and usually takes us about an hour deep into the into the forest and we uh, go find some Christmas trees. So let's get it. All right, made it to our spot, unload here. Then we head into those mountains right over there and cut our tree. There's my Brother in law, Eric. The love of his life, not my sister, his Subaru. I let him warm up so you don't go bruh. Ugg slippers. All geared up, time to go hunting. Got my driver for the day. Ready? Streams are getting frozen. Brendan, you want to go swimming? Really nice. Look at this view. It's actually pretty deep. Like, there's no coverage, but the snow is pretty good. There's a lot of bushes. After some hard picking through the woods here, and some tree and some bush killing, this is our, this is actually thing. Whoa! Huh? Yeah, I'll move. There she is. What do you think? You like that tree? Yeah? Maybe. Whew. Making us a work area. Don't look like much now. But she's got it where it counts. Eric got the win for this year. We take this very competitive of who gets the tree. Bruce, Bruce, baby. I saw it, but didn't say anything. But you didn't see deep into its soul like I did. A little bit of shaping right here. We got 
a tree. And we gotta package it. This is my uh, favorite part. Lopsided right now. Right, so I think She's thick. All right, we have successfully secured the tree. It takes quite the little process to roll it and whatnot, but got her dialed. Now we head down the hill. I don't know. Well, I'd say we're at least 10 miles back, so. Crew snowmobiles, kids are hopping in the Jeep, and then load everything up, and then we head back home. It's quite the little process, but it's pretty fun. It's definitely like an experience. Even like some of our trees, like this year I said we got a decent tree, but some years like our trees are a little scarce or like not the best looking tree, but the experience is. <laughs> We ditched the kids uh, from riding up out there in the Jeep, so we're having a little fun in the, in the woods. But the coverage right now, it's like just deep enough to like where you have to like bank to turn. But it's not deep enough because like you're like you're like banking and all of a sudden like rock stump poof, and then you get like thrown into another tree and you're just like, right now is not ideal, but it's what we got. So we're making it work and being careful because these stumps hurt. <laughs> up we just leave the christmas tree right up oh right there we leave it just right on top of the jeep load it up strap down the jeep strap down the snowmobiles and straight home so it looks good when we go down the road people are like everyone's just like yeah honking pumped And loaded, right, Kaya? fun part we have Christmas tree and it must get up there all right there is our challenge just up to here no biggie okay so we got our speed strap shout out to speed strap my boy Aaron and Maddie 
They got just a regular ratchet strap. What's you going down? All right, the tree is in the house. It's freestanding by itself. So as you can see, we wrapped the tree with a rope. Doesn't look too good up there, but we will slowly begin to unwrap it and then we'll go in, trim it up and she'll be looking good. Presents are under the tree. That means it's a wrap. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. What do you guys think of the way we get our tree? I know, a little different. See you next week.